beautiful peoples. I am back here with a date night inspired look for you. You know, when you go out with your mans, you want to look beat. So if you want to look beat, continue watching this video. So today I'm going to be using an Anastasia gel pot to fill in my eyebrows, you know, because you know, when you go on your date, you want your eyebrows on for you. Do people still use that? To shape out my eyebrows, to have them on fleek, yes I said it again, I'm be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee to shape those babies out. If you guys realize, I go really slow with my eyebrows, I like to take my time. It's like the same thing with eyeliner and cut crease and I'm doing all that in this video. So <laughs> bear with me. So I'm going to use a tapered brush to blend out the concealer so it doesn't look too harsh and obvious that I did my eyebrows. You don't want, just because your face is beat, you don't want your man to be like, ugh, why are your eyebrows looking like that? with the concealer and put it on our eyelids to prime our eyes before we put the foundation. So you see that I went back with the taper brush to blend out the concealer all over my eyelid. So I'm going to get this cocaine, I'm just joking, Sasha Buttercup and set my concealer so we don't have any creasing with the eyeshadow. So we're going to use Burnt Orange from the Anastasia Beverly Hill Modern Renaissance Palette as our transition color. I want to blend the transition color smoothly so it doesn't look too harsh. brush to pat down love letter from the same modern renaissance palette all over the lid So we're going to tap into the love letter eyeshadow again with a small blending brush to blend out the love letter that was on your eyelid. So I'm going to put my Radiant Creamy Concealer on my eyelid to start creating my halo look, which I use a small brush to make a perfect halo shape. So I'm going to be using my NYX single eyeshadow in the color Pink Cloud to tap on the halo look I created with the concealer. So 
So on top of the color, I put the color Little Lady from the Jaclyn Hill palette to create a more rosy gold color. Back in the Jaclyn Hill palette, I put the color Chip to make a darker crease. So I'm going to blend that out with the same small blending brush. And then I went back into my Modern Renaissance palette and used the color Burnt Orange to blend everything out smoothly. Okay ladies, so we're going to start off with our face. So I'm going to be using the NYX Liquid Highlighter in the color Moonbeam and put it on the highlighted areas of my face because you know you want your man to see you glow and if you guys have been wondering how I glow I put this before I put my foundation The foundation I'm going to use today is the Ordinary Full Coverage Foundation in 3.1Y. Nicole, did you do a review on the serum foundation? Oh yes I did. If you want to check that out, the link is down below in the description. It's, it's a good review, I'm just saying. Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS in the color Caramel to highlight my face. So I'm going to use my Black Opal Foundation Stick in the color Sway to contour my face. So I'm going to go with my flat concealer brush to blend out the concealer. So I'm going to go with the Beauty Blender to blend out the concealer. So I'm going to take my contour brush to blend out the foundation stick that I use for my contour. Blend that baby in! Blend it! Ooh! I'm 
go back with my Sasha Buttercup powder to bake my face. Bake it, honey. Bake it like some cookies. Go bake your face like some cookies. to my black radiance contour palette to set my contour so I'm going to go in with a powder brush to take away the excess powder on my face because we don't want no flashback coming no flashback. So I'm going to go in with my MAC blush in the color Sun Basque. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Y'all see me go on Instagram and Twitter. I use MAC's. Minimalize skin finish in the color gold deposit to highlight my face to have it pop it I'm gonna go back in the Jaclyn Hill palette and use the color Roxanne on my lower lash So I'm going to set my face so everything can be melted perfectly. So I'm going to outline my lips with LA Girls Lip Pencil in the color Dark Brown. Comment how you felt about the look and don't forget to subscribe too if you haven't already thank you guys again love y'all bye